So uh, I don't think this was a terrible film at all. It was actually quite enjoyable. But did I really need it? Hey, what's up, nerd fam? This is your boy, Gashawn. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, uh, a little bit late, or well, maybe a lot late, uh, I want to talk to you about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, or Beetlejuice 2, whatever you want to call it, the sequel to the film Beetlejuice by Tim Burton. So, I got a chance to see this, and just putting it plainly, I didn't think it was a bad movie. Um, I had a good time watching it. I think that the actors, specifically Michael Keaton, really enjoyed playing Beetlejuice, and you felt it. Uh, the jokes were actually funny. I did like the degree of gore you kind of saw, especially when it came to the detail that they put behind everyone who died. And you see that they're in that state dying, especially um, Lydia's father, who apparently got like his head bitten off by a shark, and his body just looked kind of crazy down there. And obviously, I think it's because they got so much better at making costumes now than they did back then that it just, it looked, a lot of the stuff just looked absolutely nuts. And I really did like that about this film. Uh, Jenna Ortega is a, uh, I guess a perfect, she's perfectly placed in a world like this with Tim Burton and stuff like that. Um, it's one of those things where I go, but in a much better way. You remember how earlier this year they had a Roadhouse film and it wasn't a sequel, it was like a weird remake thing. And it's like, but why? That was just stupid. Because it wasn't good, right? This is not like that. But it's one of those things where I get it's a sequel. But did it really add anything? I don't know. What's good about it, at least that it wasn't a remake. At least, at least it wasn't a remake, right? At least they didn't try to like, you know, make Beetlejuice a girl and do some weird shit like that. They didn't do that. So a lot of this worked, especially with him having a wife and then talking about like his past, he's like a renaissance dude. Like it, you know, so that, you know what, even me, while I'm speaking, while I'm speaking through this, it does add a little bit of that there. But this is one of those things where there's some movies where like after I watch it, I'm like, damn, like I feel better. Like if this didn't come out, like, like, shoot, I, I don't know what I'd do type of thing, right? But this, I don't know. I left the, the theater going, hey, you know, it was kind of cool. But I don't know. Um, I feel like maybe just leaving it at the original could have been what it was. Um, especially because they couldn't even get, like, Alec Baldwin in this. I'm not sure they couldn't, but they decided not to. Uh, they said, hey, they moved on. The father... Um, Lydia couldn't be there because the real life actor got into some trouble with some pictures, which I'm not going to talk about here because I don't want to get demonetized whenever this does get monetized. This video doesn't get taken away from that, uh, partner program. You know how it works. But, um, like I said, I enjoyed this. I really did. But, I don't know. I, I wonder... If we're 30 years down the line, should we, should we really have uh, a sequel? Maybe we can just do something new. And Tim Burton is creative enough to do so, right? Um, for example, I mean, I liked the Wednesday series, right? Because that wasn't like a Adam's Family sequel. It was like a side story about a particular character from there. So I wonder, I mean, if they would have like just did a Beetlejuice movie like only about him maybe in the past or doing something different that wasn't like a direct sequel, maybe that would've been kinda cool. But then I feel like the audience for that would've been really, really small. I mean, and I'll say this, the audience for this is kinda small too. I mean, it's, a, it's the best, uh, for, according to what I saw at Box Office at the time, it's like the highest grossing like Tim Burton opening weekend ever, right? I think that's because of like social media and stuff like that. But I don't know. I can't help but think that maybe sometimes it's okay just to leave the film at its one and only, rather than just doing a, a sequel, which obviously they're getting, he's getting paid a lot of money for. It just seemed needless, needless to me, honestly, especially because the ending was kind of inconclusive. And yeah, I kind of felt empty at the end of it, I'll say, because 
it i don't know if they if they are gonna make a third one and i hope to god they don't but they kind of left it open-ended i don't want to get to too much to too many spoilers but yeah i don't know let me know did you like beetlejuice beetlejuice is there something that you want a third did you need that particular one tell me what you thought about it let's discuss it maybe maybe i'm looking at this the wrong way thanks the nerd Thank <laughs> you.